Hi, and welcome to another DMS Tech Talk video. My name is Lucas, and today I wanted to take some time and talk to you about Roland VersaWorks. For those of you that don't know, Roland VersaWorks is a free raster image processing software that comes with any large format inkjet printer that you purchase uh, from Roland. Um, it, it, it's a nice uh, piece of software because of a number of reasons. Number one, it, it's free and it's included with your, with your printer. Your software upgrades are free. Um, there's no USB dongle key required to run it, unlike some others that are out there in the market. And it's really quite intuitive and, and very powerful. Anybody that we work with will typically pick up uh, how to operate this software within a couple of hours. It's quite simple. Um, so as you can see, uh, this is sort of the main page here. Um, we have two input queues where we can bring artwork into the software. And here we tell the printer, you know, what type of paper we're printing on, how many copies we want, if we're going to be printing and cutting, that sort of thing. Um, so there's some basic information available on the main screen. What I'm going to do is bring a file in. Um, you can see I've got actually two printers connected here. You can have up to four Roland devices connected to one workstation. Um, so it's quite handy in that regard as well. If I just click File, Add Job to QA, uh, I'm just going to use QA as an example. There's two queues, as I mentioned, A and B. You can see the job will arrive here in the job list for that particular VS300 unit. And you can see I get a preview here, some basic information about my print, how much ink I'm going to use. Uh, there is a note here that I'm using metallic silver ink, the size of the file, and a low resolution preview on this side, showing you the media. This is actually what the, what the printer looks like, my page size. So it's very simple to lay this out, and it's really intuitive. I can hit the settings button here, double click here, double click here, or double click here to bring me to my, uh, my job specific settings now, where I can begin to lay the job out. So um, you can see uh, it opens up a series of windows. So I have layout, quality, etc., etc. And these same menus are available in the queue. So you can use the queue to make global settings for anything that actually comes into the file. So for example, this is set to print for generic vinyl. If I cancel this, and I'm going to delete this file out of the queue, and I'm going to go to QA now, and I'm going to tell QA that I'm going to be printing on a glossy calendared vinyl, just so you can kind of see how this works. So I'm going to change this to the glossy calendar vinyl. Now you can see I've got a whole list of print profiles that are available for me to use. And uh, that's one of the nice things about Roland as well. They bundle this stuff with print profiles and print profiles are critical to achieving good color on the type of vinyl that you're gonna print on. A print profile is created using a color spectra photometer and, and software and somebody knows how to use it. Basically what it does is it tells the printer how much ink to lay down, um, feed, feed calibration settings, heater settings, dryer settings, all this kind of geek speak so that essentially what you, what you do is you, you just select the right media, the right profile, hit print, and you get the right color. Um, I, other RIP softwares, they don't, they don't do that. Um, you know, you have to either buy profiles from uh, third-party people or hope that the media manufacturer that, you, that you're buying from makes a print profile that's specific to your device, specific to your RIP, specific to your ink configuration, et cetera, et cetera. It can be quite a little rabbit hole. Anyway, so you can see I brought that file back in again, and it's automatically set to print on that uh, that media, that GCBP uh, MT, which is metallic. So, I mean, that's a really quick crash course. Unfortunately, with YouTube, I only have 10 minutes, so I can't get into the, the, the details of it in this quick overview, but I'll, I'll talk to that again later. So you can see I clicked on the job settings, and the menus look exactly the same. There's some advanced features, though, that we'll, we'll get into later on. So I'm gonna double click on this file. One of the things I like is this is a single image workflow. So I do not need to do any nesting in my design software. So you can see I have a, um, uh, a layout here and it's showing me my preview. My cut lines are being recognized by VersaWorks. That's what those little red lines mean. And I can simply hit get media width and the software communicates with the printer to adjust the page size so that as I lay out my jobs, I'm actually working with the, the, the actual printing area that's available to me. I do see I have a little bit of waste here, so I'm just gonna go to my clip and tile option. And this is some information um, in metallic that's printed on the bottom of the file. I don't really want that, so I'm just gonna crop that right out, just like that, which is a cool function as well. And then you can see as I lay the rest of the job out, I don't have that wastage anymore, which is cool uh, to be able to clip and tile right in your design. 
Another thing you can do is if you're printing a banner, you just click fit to media size, it will blow it up and make it the biggest size that's available to you. I can center this on the media. I can resize it as well. So let's say I made a four by four left chest heat transfer a week ago. The file's still in my queue and the client wants an eight inch, you know, full front. I don't have to go back to my design software to resize that, which is kind of nice as well. If I want 25 copies, I click 25. And you can see quite simple. I can reduce my, my, my spit tile spacing here, change the orientation if it's applicable, very advanced nesting features. Some RIP software platforms out there will require you to do all this in your design software and that's a nightmare because your file size gets enormous and the required number of steps to do it, it's quite cumbersome. So you definitely want a single image workflow. Under the next section, we have our quality tab. And this is where we tell the printer what we're printing on. And as I mentioned, we have all these print profiles available to us to use. They're free, they come with the RIP, and you can do your, um, your software upgrades as new print profiles come out. And there's some advanced uh, uh, features here that I'm not really gonna get into in this particular, um, particular segment. I just wanna kinda give you a quick crash course. There are some very advanced color management features uh, available to you. You can hook up a color spectrophotometer to this software as well. So we can go to color adjustment. We can tweak colors on screen. If you happen to have a color calibrated monitor, that's of great benefit to you. Um, if we're, we can do spot color replacement as well. I'll talk to a little bit about that later on. If we're going to put any marks on our file like crop marks or our job properties, maybe we want to know the date and time that we did the print. You can see here this is a low res preview to save RAM but it would show me the date and time that I did the print which is kind of a nice function too. So printer settings, we can tell the printer to cut the page off after it's done printing or if we need to do overprinting for making light boxes or something, we can tell the printer how many times to overprint or the page space to use. Um, our feed calibration, vacuum power, dry time, head height, printer heater and dryer settings can all be done here in the RIP or on the printer. Our cut controls in this case, we're gonna do print cut. So we're gonna print all this stuff and then come back and do the cutting. We could do print only if we were doing maybe a poster, or artist canvas, something like that. Or cut only if we had used crop marks and we'd applied some laminate using our laminator and brought it back in, or in here. We do cut only afterwards. And some other advanced features as well that we'll talk to later. Um, job management, again, this is more Q level stuff. And I'll go over that in another video. Clip and tile that you saw briefly. And variable data printing, which is a cool, uh, cool feature that I'm going to show you later on. So that's a quick way to bring a job in and lay it out. It's ready for print now. All I would have to do is press the print button and it would go up here to the rip queue and then it would go ahead and print the job. And you can see here our Jazz Fest logo, the size of the file, it's a PDF, 5x4, print profile information, the number of copies, and even the amount of ink that we're going to use is right here. So very intuitive little program, very simple to use. Um, the learning curve on this is very, very minimal. Um, typically most operators will be up and running with this software platform in about two hours. Um, you can even go here, preferences, and uh, you can change your, uh, have, have this reach out to Roland server to do automatic updates and all kinds of really cool features. So I apologize for making this such a quick overview, but I mean, you don't need a lot of time on it to see that it's very powerful and very intuitive. Um, I'm a big fan of the Roland VersaWorks software. It's really well supported and, and it works really, really well. If you have any questions on this software and you'd like to see a more in-depth demo, give us a call and you can come on into our, our showroom. We'll be happy to do that for you. Thanks again for watching and have a profitable day.